This is a special uh, committee, the whole meeting, and uh, it's uh, obviously not where we usually are. We're up here uh, for a good reason. We've got a presentation tonight on the Stunt Cove Master Plan, and uh, it, uh, a couple of thanks before we get going uh, and get into our meeting. Uh, first of all, um, Thank you for coming. Uh, and clearly, this is sort of a statement of interest uh, in, in this, which we expected because this is a really important sort of step that we're sort of entering into here. Um, but secondly, um, thank you for uh, Elizabeth Valentine and um, Jacqueline Massey and uh, George uh, in terms of videotaping this, and Alan Bonk, who I understand is covering the costs uh, for that. Um, I think it's been uh, Elizabeth's vision for a long time that important community events uh, should be accessible to those who don't attend. Uh, it seems a pity when we have the opportunity to have an important presentation that's done well uh, that only those who are able to attend actually see it. And so, uh, as I understand it, this will be presented on, on the Bowen TV YouTube site and available to for anyone to sort of revisit or visit for the first time. So I think this is a uh, pretty substantial step forward uh, in our efforts to communicate to the public and keep them informed. So with that said, I'd, I'd like to just say um, we'll just start the meeting with, uh, to get this going. I'll turn it over to uh, Michael Rosen to sort of set the uh, frame it and then uh, it'll be over to Alan and his team to make the presentation on the master plan. Um, when we get into the questions to follow, we'll start with the council and then move to the audience and then we'll just move back and forth. And the goal really here uh, is to um, explore, you know, the, the content of the plan as thoroughly as possible and probe and poke and, and, and query uh, so that uh, all of us benefit from the expertise that's in the room tonight uh, and the expertise that's gone into it. <coughs> so with that, I'd just like to... Um, uh, just before we go on, I'll just, uh, in terms of um, approving the agenda, um, I think there's a, I just want to say there's a clarification, the report, that, and Mike will speak to this, was not intended to be discussed tonight, even though it's sitting formally on our agenda. So um, the agenda then is simply, as stated, uh, Michael's overview at, in the presentation. So I, I just ask council uh, a motion to approve that agenda. Second, any discussion? <coughs> Call the question, all those in favor? Uh, so the, the, the uh, motion to uh, approve the agenda passes. So we'll, with that, I'll hand it over to Michael. Okay, thanks, Bob. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to just provide a little frame for the presentation we're going to have tonight from Alan's team. And secondly, I'll speak very briefly about my report that is attached to the agenda. I don't know, do people have a copy of the agenda? Not that many. Well, that's probably good. <laughs> okay, first of all, just to frame the work, um, um, it was back in July when the municipality retained um, Alan Boniface and his consulting team, who I know will be well introduced, to prepare a, a master plan. We call it a master plan for Snug Cove. And this, this work kind of grew out of recommendations that were coming from the Surplus Lands Working Group. And this is a working group who's looking at providing recommendations to council as to what council should do with its surplus lands in terms of selling them uh, to generate some revenue for the municipality, as well as the work that was being done by the Civic Facilities Working Group, which was charged with the responsibility of providing recommendations to council on the delivery of civic facilities. And both these groups kind of came together separately, but saying, you know what, before we make big decisions on how we're going to dispose of our surplus lands and where we are going to locate our civic facilities, we should be doing that in some kind of broader vision. And there had been a broader vision that had been created about a year or two before that, which we called the Snug Co Village Plan, but it was kind of a bunch of policies or words, objectives, things we would like to see. And both these working groups said, you know what, we got to take those policies, those visions, and take it to another level of planning that would be more design oriented, that would be more physical, expressive. What would buildings look like? 
what would streets look like? And that's what this master plan is doing for us. And when the consultants were hired, they were asked to, of course, do this master plan for the, for the Snug Cove area, but specifically look at three things as priority things. Things that have been kind of floating around in the municipality as issues for a long, long time. Ferry marshalling. Uh, ferry marshalling. How might Snug Cove accommodate ferry marshalling? So the team spent considerable time and effort looking at ferry marshalling. Secondly, as I said before, surplus lands. Could the team provide some further direction and ideas on the use and disposition of the surplus lands pieces? And lastly, as I said before, civic facilities. <coughs> so that when civic facilities were going to be sited on municipal lands, they were being sited thinking about the big picture, thinking about the long term. And uh, in my opinion, the group has addressed all those three items in the master plan. It's up, of course, to council and the community to kind of debate as to whether how well they've addressed it. Is it agreeable? Because remember that at this point, this master plan, it's their master plan, the consultant's master plan. We ask them to use their creative juices as experts, as consultants, to come up with their ideas. Of course they engage with the community, with working groups, but at the end of the day, at this point in time, it is a master plan that is being presented and recommended by the consultants group. So that was the first point I wanted to speak to. The second point, which is this report that's attached to the agenda that no one has. Um, this report is a report that provides some recommendations to council as to where to go from here. As I just said, we have a master plan in front of us prepared by a consultant group. What does council do with it? And there's lots of different options for council to proceed with or to consider on where to go next. That is not the subject of tonight's meeting. Tonight's meeting is going to be the content of the master plan. But what we're contemplating is my report, which deals with some ideas as to where do you go from here, would be the subject at the next committee of the whole meeting, which at this point I think is scheduled for February 4th. So anyone who who does have the agenda, who hasn't read my report, uh, that's not going to be the subject of tonight's meeting. Council is not in any kind of um, uh, position where they're going to have to make any decisions tonight. Tonight's meeting is to hear the presentation of the final report. <coughs> Many of you were, he were at um, the chapel when Alan made a presentation on where the work was up to that to a date. I, what was it, back in the early December, was it? Early November. Early November. Um, so tonight is to listen to the presentation on the final report, of course for council to uh, ask questions of the consultants, engage in dialogue amongst themselves, and I know Bob will probably provide opportunities for people in the audience to comment and, and offer their, their uh, observations. So I'll stop there and pass it over to Al, and the floor is yours. Okay, greetings everybody. Um, the first thing I want to do tonight is just thank a, a number of people. We've spent about the last six months uh, engaging in a lot of work, and we haven't done that alone. So there's, there's representatives of two groups out here today, uh, the Civic Facilities Working Group, if you could put up your hands, or hand. <laughs> there's a lot more people involved than that uh, that have been integral to this, and the Master Plan Working Group as well. Jim? <laughs> So there's some people there. And also this team of consultants we've had here. Uh, there's a lot of expertise represented, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Um, my name is Esteban Ondraga. I'm a partner with Electric Consulting, a green building and desertification company in my group. Mark Pollan, Pollan Bar's planning group of sustainable development planning. Andy Beard, uh, planning student. <laughs> <laughs> much, much, much more. <laughs> So I'm Alan Boniface, for those of you who don't know that, and my firm is Hudson Bacher, Boniface Hayden Architects, and we do a lot of urban planning and architecture and have done so for over 35 years.